Hey guys, this is an HP LaserJet P1102W printer. It's very similar to a lot of the printers that HP makes with the LaserJet, just the standard black and white printer, which is very cool, does, a, does the job, and it's very um, compact. So uh, the problem that this one may have, or any any LaserJet printer or any inkjet printer will have, is the paper pickup issues. That That's something that we're going to address right now, and hopefully get it fixed for you. So please don't forget to like and let's get right to it. So the things that we're going to use to fix this issue is we're going to need a stapler and some alcohol swabs. That um, the, the reason why I like the alcohol swabs is because they are, they don't rip. <clears throat> so when you work with them, if you staple that to the paper, it's not just going to rip away and um, cause jams down the line with your printer. On this printer, the um, the roller is located about right there if it's loaded. So it's going to try to pick up your paper at the very edge. So you would want to put, I would use actually cardboard paper if you have it. If you have regular paper, just use a few sheets. I'm using about five. So I'm going to go ahead and staple this. So as long as it's at the edge, I'm going to staple in a couple of places. Like so. Well, the reason that I'm, I'm doing this is because the roller is going to be about right here and it's going to pull the pad or the paper this way. So anything if you just staple here at the edge it'll just kind of crumple it up and we don't want that so now we are ready to put this just load this into the printer just as if you would load paper and then when you're going to try to send a paper job through or print job through make sure you just hold this so it doesn't feed it into the printer so that's very important step right here Okay, I'm, I'm just going to hold this uh, X button right here, and when it starts flashing, I'm ready to print and make sure I hold this down so it doesn't feed that in there. So you can hear that the rubber roller is trying to pick up the paper, but it's that sound, um, like a squeegee sound, is basically a rubber roller going over those uh, the pad here. So our roller... And this printer, it's only been about 1,700 pages printed, so it's not very dirty. If yours isn't picking up, you would probably see some residue over here after it's done that. So I would do that a couple times and send the job through. And very important to hold this down. So it's going to try to pull the paper in again. Make sure you hold it down and let it clean. It's a little bit tough to get in there with your hands and clean it. Plus, it doesn't roll easy, so you can see that it's cleaning it up more. So when we try to put the new paper in there, it should be good. These were definitely going to dispose of or recycle. So um, wait a few minutes before you load paper in there, and then try to print something and see if that's done it for you. The other issue that I want to address with this, it has a separation pad on the... It's towards the end, but it's very easy to access from the bottom of the printer. So let me finish this here and see how it feeds our paper. And it should do the same thing for you. And then I'll just uh, go over, put the printer on its side and show you where the separation pad is. Um, that's usually when the paper is being picked up, but it picks up a few at a time or it won't separate it like properly. Like it would pick up two pages at a time or it would pick it up late, or it would pick one up and then take another one in and kind of mess up your prints. So let's uh, take a look at that in just a mo moment. So I got the paper in there um, and we're gonna do a test print in just a minute. One thing that I want to also point out is you can see how the pa paper just kind of got wet now with this being on here with you know it's absorbing the alcohol of course and you can see on the back side so the thing to remember is just 
as soon as you staple it, that's when you want to use it. Don't wait too long for this to happen. So we were able to clean and that's plenty of time. After that, it might get fragile and it may rip off. I mean, it's not that easy, honestly, but um, you just don't want this to be stuck in your printer and then, you know, you wouldn't be happy at all if you have a paper jam or some damage in there. So just make sure you use it right away and then after you're done using it, recycle or dispose of this paper right here. So let's try to do a test print right now. Once again, I'm going to hold the X button for about three or four seconds until that uh, go light starts flashing. Picks up the paper right away. Let's take a look at the test print. It's perfect. Very good work here. So let's let's flip the printer over. So for that, let's turn the printer off. And I'm going to unplug it. I'll just unplug it from the back of the printer. Then we're going to remove the paper. And then we can just flip the printer on its side. Um, just to be safe and avoid any um, toner being spilled in here. Let's just remove the toner cartridge from the printer. Um, and when you remove the toner cartridge, you can also easily access the uh, paper pickup roller right here. That's the one that we cleaned from the bottom. And you can clean this part right here too. And that might help it too. I mean, it will help, but it's very difficult to spin it and then you may cause any some damage for the pickup roller. So <clears throat> I would recommend the method that we did. And just for additional cleaning, we can clean here. So that's kind of something that I wanted to point out. Now we can flip the printer on its side. And when we do that, this is the separator pad. Uh, easy to remove, there's two screws and there's two tabs that hold on this side. So when you put it back in, make sure you put it back in correctly. Take a picture if you need to, to make sure that it goes in properly. Uh, you can just use a regular screwdriver, Phillips head. Kind of hold the printer here on the top so it's, you can get some pressure. Instantly you can see that the separation pad just kind of comes out. These are the two tabs that I was talking about. If you need a replacement, I believe some will have a part number right on there. Somewhere like embossed in there. Okay, I found it on here. It's kind of like right there. So it's like RC21055 as the part number of this particular one. Um, some may look very similar but they may not fit so check out that number see if you can find it online i think i saw some on ebay or so and really you do not need to get a new one if everything works here if the spring is in proper condition so make sure the spring is in here if it's out like that um you can see that it's not in the um in on this thing right here so make sure that's in there same thing here so if the spring works good, check for that. Then also take alcohol swab or put some uh, cleaner on a paper towel. Clean this area right here. Um, it's kind of a pad, I'm not, it's either rubber or foam. I'm sorry, I just don't, so if it's foam, we just wanna avoid the um, alcohol. So we can just use regular tap water, but I'm pretty sure it's rubber. Yeah, it is rubber. So some people say don't use any alcohol on any rubber parts. I haven't had an issue with it. It actually resolved most of my paper pickup uh, problems. So just clean that. You can see where the roller is in here. The um, So it has like a plastic side and then a rubber side, half of it. That's the one that we cleaned at first. So let's put this back. Like I said kind of feed it in there. Make sure you put the tabs in, in here, and it, it's just gonna slide over these tabs right here. 
and now you can just um, put your screws in make sure they're in all the way so this doesn't move and do the same thing with the second screw There you go. And just as a quick bonus, let's <laughs> just address these rollers right here. That's when you're having paper crumple at like when it's coming out. And I haven't seen it as an issue here, but it may cause like slips of the paper and stuff like that. Um, so when you have, for example, when you turn the printer on, these are gonna spin just like as a startup thing. And you can just hold the alcohol swab right over this roller and then kind of turn it off, turn it or open this cover and hold it over that. Let me just demonstrate it real quick. Okay, so I turn the printer on and you can see they're gonna start spinning. And I'm just gonna hold the alcohol swab right over the um the roller here. It's not doing anything because I didn't load the um, cartridge yet. So let's do that real quick. Oops. So we got that in. And it's going to start spinning as soon as I close that. And just hold that over this roller. Kind of move back and forth. And that cleans it pretty good. If your printer has been used for over like two, three thousand pages, you'll see the residue over here. So for the next roller, I'll just open it and close it. It'll start spinning again and I'll clean the second roller. So that usually takes care of most of our paper feed or paper um, jam issues. If the paper is getting constantly jammed on the fuser that's a bit of a different issue that's either a bad fuser or one of the rule there's either a pressure roller or the heat roller that needs to be replaced or just the whole fuser itself but that's usually over at least uh, 20,000 pages I think that's when those go out unless you've um, used it I don't know some people would have stickers on there if they tried to print labels for example and the sticker got out that's when those problems usually would occur. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment in the section below, subscribe to our channel, and hopefully you were able to fix this printer.